Hello friends. I wanted to tell you a funny story. The other day I was doing a big purge of my uh, china and um, ceramic ware in the kitchen and um, I had it all on my kitchen table. So I had, you know, sort of a set of plates and two sets of stemmed glasses and some cups and saucers, just a lot of stuff, but it was stuff that I wasn't going to use. I knew I wasn't going to use, and I don't like to store things that I'm not going to use because I, I need more storage space for things that I will use. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it was on my table, and my daughter came through, um, and she said, Mom, where are you going to put all this stuff? And I said to her, well, uh, I'm not going to put it anywhere. I'm giving it away. And instead of saying, oh, mom, <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Or, oh, mom, I'd like this. She said, oh, okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Nobody wants China and Crystal anymore. And that was like a little capsule <laughs> of how I know that in my own family. I don't care, I love it and I'm gonna enjoy it. But that's not what I wanted to tell you about. What I wanna tell you about is cabinet plates. Because I have a set of cabinet plates that nobody wants. <laughs> not in my family. In fact, I even asked my daughter, my youngest daughter, Julia, who might have a reason to want them, and she doesn't want them. <laughs> so. I'm going to give them away. I'm actually going to give them to Barbara at Beaver's Den Antiques and just, you know, thank her for all of her years of service. So let me show you. Look at these gorgeous plates. They're collector's plates. They are um, from Lennox. They are a limited edition, annual edition, a series of beam birds. So a gentleman was an illustrator who did all of these special birds. And uh, this one is a wood thrush, official bird of the nation's capital, 1970. Now, the reason these are called cabinet plates is because they're so fancy, they're almost like a painting. And while I know that some people do use their beam plates for actual dinner parties, to me, they just feel too fancy to be using for a dinner party, especially these days. So I, I had used them as cabinet plates for the last, you know, I don't know, 10 years that I've had them. They were in the back of my china cabinet, in the back of my butler's cantry, pantry, and they're very beautiful, but I've moved on and uh, I'm not using them and I don't need cabinet plates that I'm not going to use. And so I'm going to give them away to Barbara. But the funny, the interesting thing about these plates is that there's 12 of them. One came out every year of a different bird. So this is the goldfinch, that's 71. This is the bluebird, that's 72. This is the meadowlark, 73. The Hummingbird, 74. The um, American Red Start, 75. This is a little duck. It is the Gold Crowned Kinglet. Aren't they beautiful? And beautiful flowers with them as well. They're just lovely. Oh, let's see, this is a Mockingbird. These are cardinals. My daughter, Julia, is a birder. And so I asked if she wanted these plates. She said, no. <laughs> this is a robin. To be fair, she does. I did buy her another set of bird plates. <laughs> so if I'm not buying China for myself, I'm buying it for other people. This is the Eastern Phoebe. And the last one in 1981, is the black-throated blue warbler. Anyways, I love them. I have used them. They're beautiful, but I'm done. I'm ready to move on and 
hopefully someone else will enjoy them. You know, there is some discussion online, I've tried to do research, about whether or not these are safe for human consumption. <laughs> not to eat, but to eat off of. And, um, you know, there's some debate about it. A lot of people say that it's fine, that they've used them and it's fine, and if you don't use them a lot, it's not a big deal. Um, and then some others say that when, you know, they're artistic plates like this, you or cabinet plates like this, you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't be eating off of them for uh, safety's sake. Anyways, when they first or when they first came to me, I did not collect them. I got them at an estate sale. But when they first came, they came in beautiful, you know, special boxes with a special certificate that said that they were, you know, an edition, one edition of something something. And they came. So this was an eleven year collection that somebody had. Oh my God. I might be talking myself into keeping them. <laughs>